This week, dozens of U.S. track and field athletes are here in Houston training before leaving to compete in the Paralympics in Rio. It is an understatement to say they've overcome obstacles. Tonight, we introduce you to Regis Woods, a sprinter whose strength is sure to inspire. Regis Woods is used to being told what he can't do. Every time before competition, I have to put my legs together. And it's been the ultimate fuel to get ready for the race of his life. It's just a great feeling um, to be at this level, something that they said was impossible. But what's impossible to man is possible to God. At 35 years old, the double amputee is about to fulfill a 20-year dream of competing at the Paralympics. This week, he and the other U.S. track athletes are training at Texas Southern University before heading to Rio. Just because they're missing a leg doesn't mean they don't do box jumps, they're not in the weight room, they're not squatting, they're not lifting. They do everything a traditional athlete does. I, when I get to that line, um, it's time for war, it's time for battle and um, I've always been a fighter and I'm gonna fight to the end. Woods was born with a condition where the bones in his legs never fully developed. Before he was three, both legs had to be amputated above his knees. It was around age 10 he fell in love with track and field. But track and field is an individual sport. It's just me and the track, me and my lane. And those, that was one of the things that, that gave me some some sense of worth. Already a national medalist, Regis Woods has a great shot at getting the ultimate prize, winning gold on the world stage when he competes in the 100 and 200 meter dash and the long jump. The road to the Paralympics has been anything but certain. Uh, my body is now getting used to. With injuries and personal setbacks. So you sacrificed a lot to even be here. You lost your job? Yes, I lost my job. Um, that was my means of taking care of my family. But in spite of it all, um, I always talk about overcoming adversity with a positive attitude. That attitude, he says, is rooted in his deep faith. And when he runs in Rio, he says he'll also have the comfort of knowing some of the same people who told him he'd only be able to ever compete in a wheelchair will be some of the same people now cheering him on as he sprints across the finish line. I've lost 100 races before I got to this point. I got knocked down, but I got back up. The race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but it's, it's given to the one that endures to the end. Those words are so true. I'm feeling very inspired after watching him. His strength is amazing. Very impressive. I love his attitude. Yeah, he just has a lot of uh, he has a lot of faith. I think that's yeah. what he says it's all rooted in. He's a Florida native, okay. so he has a lot of people back in Florida rooting for him. A lot of folks here in Houston rooting for him. I also want to thank our chief photographer, Ray Williams, who worked with me on this story. Yeah. We both went out there not knowing what to expect, but left so inspired and feeling incredibly blessed. So we're rooting for him in Rio.